My name is Brielle and I am 11 years old and I live in St. Louis. So this is going to be pretty easy. I work for the Canadians. So we saw your tweet. We thought it was great. And since we have a, I guess, a fan out in St. Louis, we thought it'd be fun just to do a little bit of an interview with you to find out a little bit about it. Okay. Okay. Just tell me a little bit about your mom's tweet. So what, what did she actually put up online? So I had to fill out an application so they can see if they, I should be in student council or not. There are a few different questions and one of them like for somebody who you would look up to and she just posted the picture of that part. It says, name a model you look up to who is not a member of your family and tell us why he or she is important to you. Jake Allen is someone I would consider a role model. He played for the St. Louis Blues, but was traded this summer. He was really good at what he did as a goalie. He worked very hard to get to the NHL, but what I liked most was that he still worked hard and was committed to the team, even when he became a backup goalie. That's great. And so if you got to meet Jake, what would you say to him? I would want to like ask him like if it was hard being on a new team. I would also just want to know what was most challenging about it. But if it was for fun, I would also ask him if he wanted to be my best friend. <laughs> well, how about we give you the chance to do that? Oh. Hey there. Hi. How are you doing? Good. You know who I am? Yeah. <laughs> Jake Allen? That's right. Yeah, you nailed it. Mm -hmm. I saw your note that you wrote on Twitter. Figured I wanted to say hi. I never got to meet you in St. Louis during my eight years in St. Louis. So, yeah. So, yeah, so I know it's too bad I never got to meet you, but thanks for cheering me on all those years for the Blues. And hopefully when we come play the Blues, you won't cheer against me. <laughs> Real, and you have questions for Jake, right? What's your question? Fire away. Was it hard whenever you were going to be on a new team, like with maybe not a lot of people that you knew and knowing that a lot of people would be seeing you play. Yeah, I think it's going to be a little bit difficult. You know, I, I was in St. Louis for almost eight years, so I was there for a long, long time. And uh, yeah, I didn't really know too many people on, on Montreal. I don't know if you remember a player in St. Louis named Joel Evanson. You might know the name, you might not. So I played with Joel for a few years in St. Louis, and now he's on my team in Montreal. So uh, I'll get to meet him again when hockey starts back up. And yeah, it's gonna be a little bit different, no question. Not, you know, it's just like going into a new class for you or something, if you don't know people and you're a little bit shy and here or there, but you make friends pretty quick. Yes. Yeah. And this year for soccer, I also changed teams so that, because I was at my old soccer club for like five years. So that was also hard. Yeah, I know. But soon enough, you're, you know, you guys are young, you'll make friends, you'll become friends forever. So it's sometimes changes and meeting new people are a good thing. Yeah. I have like two more or something. Was hockey the only sports that you would play? Um, no, when I was young, I played all kinds of sports. Um, you know, I was big into golf. I played baseball. Um, growing up in school, I played a little bit of soccer, some volleyball. Uh, badminton. I, I was into a lot of things, but hockey was my favorite sport always. So that's why I, I chose to become a hockey player. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then what was one of the hardest challenges that you had while playing for the National Hockey League? There's a lot of challenges, um, but I think the hardest part is just trying to perform all the time. Always be at your best every game, night in, night out. There's a lot of expectations. So I think if you can be as the best you can every single game, um, then you won't have any issues. But uh, sometimes things don't go, aren't always perfect and you have to find a way to try to straighten things out. So that's probably the hardest part about playing in the NHL for an NHL player. And my last question, it isn't like really about hockey and it's kind of like just for fun, but it, it would be if you wanted to be BFFs. BFFs? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I have too many BFFs, so I think we could be BFFs. Mm -hmm. I could I could use some more friends in my life. My, my two little girls basically take over our life, so I think any BFFs for me would be good. Yeah, me too. Um, and one more thing. Can my sister say hi? <laughs> yes, tell her to come say hi. 
What's her name? Her name is Nora. Hi. Nora. Hi, Nora. How you doing? Good. Nice to see you. But maybe, maybe when we play the Blues next time, both of you guys can come to the game. Yeah. yeah. All right. Can I wear Canadians jerseys though if you come to the game? <laughs> I don't know. You might not be allowed in the rink. Yeah. <laughs> I'll cheer for your team whenever you're not playing against the Blues. Okay. Blue. I'll take that. I'll take it. All right. Okay. okay. Well, it's nice to talk to you and good luck with school and karate and soccer and maybe we'll see you down the road. Thank you. Okay. See ya. Bye. Bye. That was really cool.